I realize I'm in the crosshairs of the woke mob right now. So before my final nail gets put in my cancel culture uh, casket, I think I'd like to set the record straight. Aaron Rodgers' attempt to clarify his vaccination status, canceling one of his sponsorships. Prevea Health saying in a statement that effective immediately, they are no longer partners. The statement in part reading, Prevea Health remains deeply committed to protecting its patients, staff, providers, and communities amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. This includes encouraging and helping all eligible populations to become vaccinated against COVID-19 to prevent the virus from further significantly impacting lives and livelihoods. Not telling somebody to not get vaccinated or to get vaccinated. I think you should do what's in the best interest of your body. If in an interview of, with the Pat McAfee uh, show Friday, uh, Rogers said he is not vaccinated. Instead, he's taking a number of other treatments like ivermectin. Ivermectin is most commonly used to deworm animals and is not approved by the FDA to treat COVID-19. His, you know, client here, Prevea, they're a world-class health company. They mandate vaccines to their employees starting back in August. They can't have someone out there who's doing this kind of stuff. It's just, it's not going to work. Evan Zeppos is a senior public affairs specialist at Michael's Best Strategies in Milwaukee. He has more than four decades of experience in corporate public relations. Zeppos says after everything that has happened this year, Rogers will not be a company's first choice for its next commercial. I don't think that's what you want in a celebrity spokesperson. I don't care if you're selling cars or you're selling hamburgers. Certainly not for health care. Purveya and Rogers had worked together since 2012. Reporting from Milwaukee, Cassidy Williams, Fox 6 News.